The Portland Water District and the Portland Jetport have teamed up to offer a new benefit to travelers, water bottle filling stations. Bill Blood went to the Jetport to check out this new service. The City of Portland has had a long history of initiating green projects. As part of the airport expansion, the Water District teamed up with airport officials to showcase the Portland Jetport as an example of going green. As one of the gateways to Portland, it only made sense to do this. Portland Jetport is the second airport in the U.S. to install water bottle filling stations. Paul Bradbury, airport director, gave us this update. So what, what happened is several years ago we had the ban on liquids at the TSA checkpoint. So any liquid over three ounces could no longer come through the checkpoint. And what that caused is people forget. I mean, when myself included, you come to the gate, even those that do remember the rules, they forget that they have a water bottle in their carry-on bag. The first thing that happens is TSA catches that on the x-ray screening and it gets thrown away. So what ends up happening is we have significant numbers of bottles just thrown away at the, uh, at the checkpoint queue. So this, with any luck, will start to reduce that number and certainly spotlight our great resource, which is the Portland Water District and the Sebago Lake source for, for our city water. Now you plan on putting one in the new terminal as well? That's absolutely right. So at the, uh, the, the TSA checkpoint actually moves with the, uh, the new expansion that's opening October 2nd at 4 a.m. Uh, so when that opens, we, we do have another station down there right after you clear security screening. You come down an escalator and there's a water fill station right at the base. Once again, and that was also a partnership with the Portland Water District. And how did you start this partnership with the Water District? They called me and we just realized that this, was a, that this is a great idea to, to not only spotlight what is a great resource for Portland. Uh, many of us that have traveled, when you travel elsewhere, you don't realize how wonderful the water is here in Portland, Maine, uh, in, in the surrounding communities that are fed by Portland Water District until you go somewhere else and you experience hard water and water that, is, that doesn't taste good. We have just a wonderful source and it's another thing to spotlight what is a great location which is Maine and Portland and that's one thing that the jet port that we sell as a, as a gateway to Portland and to the state of Maine. Have you had any feedback from the passengers? You know, not yet, but we've got the interesting little, not directly, but we've got the interesting little counter. And uh, today, with all the, uh, the discussion about it, a couple passengers have come up with me, oh, it works great. So, uh, so there have been a few that have come up. But uh, I expect it will be thousands of, uh, of bottles saved. You know, you know, with our passenger count of 200,000 passengers a month in the summer, you can run the numbers. It's, there's thousands of people a day uh, that come through here and many of those you know they simply forget the rule or they forget they have their water bottle in their bag because many of us now do carry refillable bottles but you can't bring them through the checkpoint if they have water in them. Gary Libby, trustee from the Portland Water District, spoke about their reason for getting involved. One of the reasons why the Water District wanted to do this was to be a, a vehicle for economic development to be something that would emphasize the green nature of the city of Portland by saving uh, waste for bottles that uh, would be used. This has a counter on it, so we'll know uh, right to the bottle the number of bottles that have been used. And also uh, to highlight the fact that one of the best resource resources we have here in Portland is Sebago Lake, the Portland Water District water. He also reflected on their long history of service to the public. Back in the 1940s and 1950s, sort of in the heyday of Union Station, the Portland Water District used to maintain a water bar at the Union Station that was staffed by one and sometimes two Portland Water District employees that gave out free water to members of the traveling public, both as a public service and also as a means of economic development so that we could uh, really try to make sure that everybody passing through Union Station had an opportunity to see the high quality water that the Portland Water District provides. With heightened security at airports and a need for every part of our community to get involved with going green, this is an example to other airports as ways to do their part and also support their customers. Here at the Portland Jetport, I'm Bill Blood for Community Update.